On today's episode, I'll show you how I added lighting above my bench using 3D printed brackets that hold it with a snap. Right here at Filament Friday. Filament Friday is brought to you by the generous donations of these Patreon supporters. I bought this four foot LED shop light that's really bright at 6,000 lumens and I wanted to hang it over my bench just like this. The instructions showed to hang it from the ceiling using hooks and chains, but I didn't want that. I wanted something more solid. So I took some measurements of the top lip to see if I could design something that would snap around it. I took those measurements to Tinkercad and I made this LED light frame. Now this represents the light fixture and that's going to be where it snaps in place. Then I took two of the pegboard mounts that actually hold the pegboard in place, put two of those together to form the holes that I can screw to. Then I grouped everything together and came up with this bracket. So now I just needed to print two of these. So I exported a .stl file and brought it into Cura. Now I want to print this on my Ender 2 Pro and I want to try out Cura Beta 5 with my extra fast profile. But I'm going to start with the low quality profile that's included that prints at 20% by default. When I sliced it, it said four hours and nine minutes. And when I looked over, it looks fine, just exactly what I'd be looking for. But then I tried my extra fast profile to see if this was going to work. And this is 25% infill, so a little bit stronger. When I sliced it, two hours and 20 minutes, half the time. Everything looked fine in preview, so I was ready to send it to the printer. So I sent it to the Ender 2 Pro, and it printed it fine. They're not the prettiest prints, but they should be very functional. So off to the bench to try these out. The first thing I need to do is remove the mounts that were previously there. So I just unscrewed the single screw and then brought the mounts out from behind. Now I can slide in the new bracket and this is going to take two screws. Two screws so it doesn't pivot. So one on the bottom and this is going right into the stud of the wall. Once I got those two in, then I was ready to go to the other side. Remove the screw, remove the pegboard mount. This thing was a little bit tighter here and then slide the mount in place. And again, two screws to hold it in place. And now we're ready to mount the light. I made sure to wrap the cord around the bracket and then behind the pegboard. And now the moment of truth. Will this thing actually snap in place? Snap one, it fit really good. Snap two, snapped in place. And this thing is holding really well. So now I just had to route the cord the rest of the way behind the pegboard, plug it in and then pull up the excess and now test it. It shines down on the tools and all over the bench with even light. It came out great. If you're not familiar with my extra fast profile, I'll put a link to my video about it in the description below. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the other videos that are popping up. If you want to help support the channel, click on that Patreon logo. And if nothing else, click on that Filament Friday logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time right here at Filament Friday.